Hello, hello, hello. Hey, hey, hey. Come on in and get comfortable. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Jaleesa, Reading Beyond the Book Cover, where we stay reading beyond the book's cover. So this video is the currently watching portion of my weekend reading. Um, initially, I was uh, doing the video and it would be or editing the video and after compiling everything, it would be 30 minutes to an hour. So I'm trying to do something different so that it's more digestible for everyone. I thought I was doing that already when I would put the timestamps, but eh, won't hurt to try something else to see if it makes it a little bit better. Um, in this way, um, you can select which video you want to watch instead of having to uh, click on the timestamp. I don't see the difference, but it's whatever. I don't mind. It's not a big deal to me. Um to put into sections so this is the currently watching and let me know if you have seen any of these movies that i'm about to share i watched three well i watched two and then i i did not finish watching one of them and you'll hear my thoughts let me know your thoughts down below because i really wanted to like one of them and i just wasn't feeling it y'all oh, so sad All right cue the clip we're going to go to currently watching which in a way it's not really currently watching it's just like i watched it right <laughs> so currently watching the movies that i finished were elemental and vicious affair so elemental is available on disney i picked this this movie because i couldn't finish the little mermaid which i will explain later so elemental beautiful movie i definitely tear it up oh my gosh I love it. I watched it twice and I want to watch it again. I'm feeling that that same feeling that I felt when I was listening, not listening, sorry, watching Coco for the first time. Coco wrecked me. I cried from beginning to end of that movie and I rewatched it maybe two or three times. I'm not really sure, but I know I watched it in English and in Spanish every time <laughs> I cried. So I, it, Elemental is... Um, I don't want to tell you about the movie. I just want to tell you about the style of how it looks. At first, I didn't like the way the images were I, or, or the cartoons, how they were. Is it a cartoon? Anyway, the characters, how they were drawn or created. I didn't like the look of it at first. It took me some time to get used to because essentially these are elements. You see earth, you see fire, water, um, you see air, which is like puff clouds. And um, once you start getting into the storyline that goes away at least for me at first i just couldn't get past the, the what it looked like so initially i did kind of soft stop watching and then i tried it again in the daytime i think i started the first time i tried to watch it i was with the end it was it was at the end of a long work day so i said let me try again t tomorrow so i tried another day and that's when i actually watched the entire movie so it was really good there are you know a lot of course with kids movies the kids may not see everything that's going on but there's a, a lot of messages there in particular the main message is not even a message it's like the discussion is around you know what are you willing to do not willing to do i'm sorry i'm like i'm losing my thought i'm losing steam <laughs> but it's it's basically a, an immigration story put it that way so it's like you know if your parents are immigrants they sacrifice so much to get to where they are now to make sure that you don't have to work as hard as they have to right so that means that they're building this expectation that you feel that you have to meet so when it comes to the main character she keeps thinking that okay i have to own the shop i have to own the shop so in, in a sense is she's in she's she's not doing what she actually wants to do she's doing what her parents want her to do and that affects her in other ways and i'm not going to say anymore because if i do i'm going to tell you the movie so make sure you watch it it's sweet it's not a lot of singing i don't even recall any singing actually maybe because i was so tuned in to the soundtrack like the music is bomb i told you all you know in the music section i really enjoyed the soundtrack so check out elemental it's on disney now when it comes to vicious affair <clears throat> Vicious Affair was something that my sister had told me about. My older sister sent me an, uh, the the trailer on Instagram. And so I asked her, I was like, when are you going to watch it? She didn't answer me. <laughs> then she sent it to the family group chat. I asked her again, when are we going to watch? She didn't answer me. So why do I find out on Friday night when I start to watch it? And I'm telling her I'm going to go watch it. She's like, oh, I already watched it on Thursday. I gave it a 2.5. This movie was thrown together. Eh, girl, why couldn't you answer me and tell me if you want to watch it? 
Ugh. Okay, communication. We were supposed to be sisters. What's happening? I don't know. She was busy. It's fine. I watched the movie Friday night. It was okay. Um, I This is not my first Chris Stokes movie. I've seen other movies by Chris Stokes. I saw Stepmother who that had uh, Erica Mena in it and Marquise Houston. And is it always a Marcus, Marcus Houston, whoever played Roger on sister, sister, that's the man he was in that movie. And I think I watched the, the, the sequel, but I fell asleep. So of, of that movie. So I'm familiar with Chris Stokes work and this is a fair. It was all right. It wasn't bad. I, the only thing that I think that he didn't need to do better is the, the stunts. Or the fighting scenes. They have an all-star cast. At least to me it's an all-star cast. Because I'm familiar with most of the people on there. Like Lamaya Good. Which she's Megan Good's sister. And she's married to a singer as well. I don't remember his name. Um, the guy in the middle. I forgot his name. But he was on One on One. And he also was on Cousin Skeeter. And then um, who else is in there? Oh, Black China. If you know Black China, she's in a movie as well. She did a really great job. I want to see Black China in more movies. Like, I'm not even going to hold you. I feel like she can. She needs to go into acting and doing it more often. Really great job. Um, the movie was, you know, basically you got an unhinged woman. And she was crazy. <laughs> she was crazy. I don't even know what to say. Um... What I really enjoyed about this, though, is like, is for me, I saw a parallel between this and um, the Tyler Perry movie, Acrimony. If you're familiar with like the running joke or not even a joke, but like the thing that people find funny is that we never could figure out how the lady got on the boat. You don't have to worry about that with this movie. There are some parts where you may be like, well, how did she get there? It makes sense how she got there because of how the story is built. So Tyler Perry takes some notes. Make it where we can understand how somebody got on a boat, okay? This movie will let you know how somebody uh, got somewhere where you think they're not, not supposed to be. So I'm saying things without saying things. Read between the lines, people. If you want to check it out, check it out. It's free. It's on Tubi. So this is the only free option here. The other movies are on Disney. You have to pay for that. Speaking of that, Disney is increasing the price. It's now going to be $13.99 per month. It used to be like $7.99 or $8.99. I may have to stop paying for the streaming services because this is getting out of hand um but yeah Tubi, it's free check it out they have a lot of different movies there and lastly this is the last thing i'm going to talk about in this part of the video the little mermaid oh i did not like the little mermaid at least what i saw of it and you know what? That's a strong thing to say. It's not that I didn't like it. I was not interested. And I don't know what it is. I may have to try it another time. Maybe that's what it is. Because I tried to watch this movie three separate times. Every time I would try to watch it, I would fall asleep at the part where she saved the dog. That's all I remember. Anything after that, me don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what happened. The first night I fell asleep, woke up, and had 30 minutes left. That's another thing. The movie is too long. Okay, it's almost two and a half hours. I'm getting old. I need an hour and a half. I don't even see how a child can sit, along, sit down that long to watch this movie. But it was too long. I fell asleep, woke up, had 30 minutes left. And the part that I saw the last 30 minutes was pretty okay. Still not enough to make me like want to keep watching. I would, no, I'll take it back. I do actually want to keep watching it or try to watch it again because I really liked um, Melissa McCarthy. I think that's her name. I, Ursula. Loved her performance. I love the cackling. I love the voice. I love the facial expressions. Like, I love her as an actress. So, anytime I see her in something, I'm watching it. But it's just a shame that, like, I, she wasn't in most of the movie. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it was just too dramatic. I, 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 for the life of me, I can't explain why I can't get into this movie because the second time I tried I fell asleep earlier than the last time and then the third time I fell asleep at the same part where she saved the dog 
after that, Jaleesa is out. I don't know. I'm down for the count. So let me know in the comments if you watched The Little Mermaid. How did you feel about it? Were you able to get into it? Because I wasn't able to get into it. I may try again maybe around Christmas or the winter holiday when I'm off work for like a week and give it a good old really good try because two and a half hours of my time is a lot to invest and if you can't keep my attention for like the first 20 or 30 minutes that says a lot about your movie according to me <laughs> so that's that on that i'm gonna end this part here and i will catch you all next week and i may or may not watch something i'm not really sure but we will see all right until next time remember to drink your water Mind the business that's yours and continue reading beyond the book's cover. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.